Well done. You've made the only smart choice. Slytherin. I'll show you the right way to play Quidditch. Of course, we're going to have to teach you how to compete. Come on, let's meet the rest of the finest team at Hogwarts. Marcus Flint, Slytherin captain and chaser. Here's where you learn about passing the quaffle. This challenge is all about passing the quaffle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation. Between each chaser you will see a magical ring. These rings will change colour from yellow to green. The chasers must keep passing the quaffle through the rings that are green. Missing a ring or passing the quaffle through a yellow ring will make it turn red and there'll be a time limit. Draco Malfoy here. In case you've forgotten, pass the quaffle with the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your pass. You've beaten the house record! Montague's the name. Chaser for Slytherin. You're about to learn about tackling hard and shooting at goal. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and a really annoying ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost's name, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for far too long. This ghost is going to be flying around the pitch with the quaffle, trying to get away from your chaser. What you need to do is tackle Edgar really hard, and snatch the quaffle from him, and throw it into one of the goals. Edgar's not only going to try and stop your chaser from snatching the quaffle, but he's also trying to stop him from scoring. Draco Malfoy here. Should you have missed it, press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range with the goal. You've beaten the house record. Draco Malfoy, Slytherin Seeker. I'm an expert at catching the snitch and I'll teach you how to be almost as good as I am. A golden snitch has escaped from a snitch reservation and because I'm the best seeker at Hogwarts, I've been asked to catch it. This is a great opportunity to learn about slipstreaming and boosting when playing in a real match. Madam Hooch is going to help us out. We will see that Malfoy must follow in the slipstream of my broom as we pursue the golden snidget. This is so that he can accumulate enough power to boost himself into position and therefore catch the snidget. Once Malfoy has enough boost, I will peel off and leave grabbing the snidget to him. And try not to forget. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost. And when You've beaten the house record!
match against Ravenclaw, are you? We'll see just how ready you really are. Let's play for the Quidditch Cup! Hello there, this is your very own Lee Jordan speaking to you from a loud and lively stadium here at Hogwarts. My good friend and well-known Quidditch fan, James Finnegan, joins me for today's game between Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Thank you, Lee. I'm looking forward to seeing these two teams fight yourselves. For today's match, the referee will be, you've guessed it, Madam Hoots. Game on! Flips it! Montague throws it! Flint pulls the trigger! He makes the shot! Davies!
Messi takes the quaffle. Marcus Flint with the shot. He makes it. Jeremy Stratton. Adrian Pusey. Throws it. Samuels launches another bludger attack. Graham Montague passes it off. Adrian Pusey. Fantastic. Roger Davy. Puts it off. With a quick pass. Graham Montague. He sends it home. Jeremy Stratton. Pusey picks it up. Takes the shot. Never in doubt. Roger Davy. Montague takes it back. Adrian Pusey passes. Marcus Flint. Just shot. See if those seeds can catch it. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Ha! Malfoy, grab this niche! Slytherin, claim the win. Good game. Well deserved. At the moment, Slytherin's at the top of the league.